Hola, 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 mis amores, ¿cómo están? ¿Cómo están haciendo? Espero que estén teniendo un muy buen día, un muy buen semana uh, y un muy buen, este, todo, ¿verdad? Uh, déjenme saber. So, how are y'all doing? How are, you, how are you feeling? Hope you're having a good day. We are back, y'all. We are back with some news, some more news on Diddy, okay? Like, y'all, it is 5 a.m. in the morning over here, and I'm over here covering Diddy because... <laughs> It's not stopping, and he is getting dragged, demolished out here in the court of public opinion, out here in the court of um, accusations, and I'm going to take you to court uh, system. And so, you know, it's not looking good, y'all. He has lost even more business deals. I initially made a video uh, talking about the first business deals to go, right? So he lost uh, business deals with Macy's and Vodka. So if y'all haven't watched that video, uh, you, you can go ahead and get caught up on that after this video if you want more details on that. But essentially, the short version is that, yes, Macy's walked out on him. They, they announced publicly that they are going to start pulling all of Sean Didi's um, merchandise off the shelf this year. They couldn't even wait. You know, Macy's was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> this 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 hobo was not selling and we didn't know how to get rid of him because, you know, you know, like parasites right like Didi strikes me as a parasite so uh they took full advantage of the situation they pulled out and vodka came right behind them and said oh uh we're good we're out right so they posted a public announcement as well pulling out and also you know uh, sean uh or diddy whatever his name is he was getting i had a comment so Someone left a comment was like, I love you, girl, but his name's not Didi, it's DD or something. Who knows? I don't know, girl. Like, I have an accent, and so certain words, certain names, especially when they're like the names of predators, I'm not going to bother. Okay. So, Didi, Puffy, whatever his name is, y'all, um, he lost that deal with Vodka, especially because he kept fighting with everyone in Vodka. Like, he literally made um, public announcements or not even announcements, I think they were like commercials and ads insinuating or stating, either insinuating, insinuating or stating that he was owner or some high level position that he was not. And that did not fare well with Vodka, probably because you could get sued for doing something like that uh, you, 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 as a business that's a liability. So that did not go well. He's been arguing, going back and forth with them for who knows what reasons, but he's been causing chaos and commotion. They dropped them. They dropped them so hard. They dropped them like a sack, sack of rocks, y'all. He gone. And Vodka, Vodka's gone. So those are the two major first major deals. Well, it's recently come out that he's lost even more major deals, y'all. So he's lost even more major deals. He is now lost the um, revolt, and he's also lost the charter school. Um, yeah, those two are gone. The revolt, from what I heard, they are they they're not even they didn't even they were hr friendly but they didn't even try to be as hr friendly as macy's and vodka did like the revolt they are saying the most and doing the most trying so hard to distance themselves from this individual like it's hilarious but what gets to me is that i know that they know that this has been going on this whole time but now that the general public is involved and the general public is not withdrawing because we don't understand what he's doing over there okay like and involving all of um the rest of the population who it's, it's like we don't so the rest of the population we don't know what's going on over there we're none the wiser striving to go to hollywood yeah right so now every all of this is coming out because cassie blew it blew it up big time she blew that mug clean clean up he's done for um now the general public is like what's 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 really what's, what is this you know what, what are you doing over there now they want to all of a sudden distance themselves like super hard y'all like they've been trying to distance themselves so hard so hard um but let's go ahead and take a look at, at, and see what's been going on uh because yeah so the revolt and the charter schools have both dropped them right so he's losing bank he's losing bank and he continues to lose even more money um but let's go ahead and take a look uh, a little bit more as to what's been going on please 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 go ahead and hit that like button for me um go ahead and smash that subscribe button and leave your comments below i truly want to hear your thoughts and opinions on this um but let's see let me get this pulled up for y'all because this is, this is so crazy it's so so crazy y'all I don't even know. Like, if I were him, man, I wonder what he must be thinking. In a statement to ABC News, Mr. Combs's decision to settle the lawsuit does not in any way undermine his flat-out denial of the claims. He Right here, they're talking about Cassie's lawsuit. It's the only one so far that he has settled. <laughs> and in, in record speed, he literally settled that lawsuit in less than 24 hours or within 24 hours. It was insane. He is happy they got to a mutual settlement and wishes Ms. Ventura the best. This is not an admission of guilt. This could just be the cost of doing business, that he wants to settle and move on even though these allegations are false or they're true. And he doesn't want to go through the discovery process. And so it's better to settle and move on than to go through the loss, not only financially, but also in the court of public opinion. And as the deadline for New York's adult survivor's law was set to... He's already done for in the court of public opinion. I told you all that in my last video. 
He's already done for in the court of public opinion. It is done. In the video, I literally, in the video I posted yesterday, I believe, yeah, just the day before, I li my literal words were, look, sir, you is looking mad guilty in the court of public opinion in the IPGG squad court as well. Okay, the public is dragging you like big time. Okay, and they're having a field day. You know how the public likes drama? They are having a field day with that behind. <laughs> you thought you were having a field day with other people's. Uh -uh, no, no, no. The, 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 the public is demolishing you. He's done for. To expire, two other women suing Combs. Others suing actor Jamie Foxx, Guns N' Roses frontman Axl Rose, former New York governor Andrew Cuomo, and current New York City mayor Eric Adams, all accused of sexual abuse from incidents years prior. It's uh, absolutely not true. Uh, you know, I would, I, would, I would never do anything to harm uh, anyone. All the men denying the allegations against them in statements. All the males want to sit here in front of the public's face and deny the allegations like we stupid. Y'all, you know, males are just so, like, they have to be the dumbest species. Like, you want to sit here and look at us, all of y'all, so all of y'all is innocent, huh? You all innocent, huh? Sir, goodbye. Those new claims of old offenses only made possible by the New York Adult Survivors Act, signed by Governor Kathy Hochul last year, which expired at midnight, November 23rd, Thanksgiving. What Governor Hochul in New York State did was say, you know what, just for a year, this will be the middle ground, so to speak, to allow these claims to come forward, but not open the barn door, so to speak, to allow all claims to come in forever. The Adult Survivors Act opened a one-year window for victims of sexual abuse to file lawsuits in civil court against their abusers, regardless of when the alleged crimes took place. Survivors have one year to take action. It doesn't matter if it was your coach, your cab driver, your doctor. But the law had had further reach, bringing forth thousands of claims of abuse, exposing systemic malaise across society, from spas to airports to hospitals, even prisons. There are many people who were afraid to bring sexual harassment claims against their harassers because of the power dynamic that existed. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump's legal team claiming it made more than 1,700 filings against New York prisons. It is such an ordeal for them to finally come forward because they are so distrustful of the system. They think that they have no voice, they have no power. Crump represents Mia Wheeler, one of those alleged victims. I spoke with her last year. It is hard to make a positive turnaround when you are being subjected to sexual abuse. It plays on your mental, it takes your focus off of everything. Wheeler says she was in her 20s when she was sexually assaulted repeatedly by a prison guard in New York's Bedford Hills Correctional Facility. When he would walk past my cube if nobody was there and it was a male. All males, all males. We have yet to see a single female, not a single one, be the predator, not a single one time he would come in and pe peek in and say hey you know what time it is what did he mean by that that it was time to have sex or time for me to perform a sex act on him tell me about how this affected you physically repulsed and turned off but during the acts just having to tune out i just wanted it to be over the only thing i knew is that as long as i come home i can bury it get out of prison get off of parole and go on with your life that's it now, almost 20 years after leaving prison, Wheeler is waiting to have her day in court. Wheeler is among at least 900 formerly incarcerated people who came forward, saying they were allegedly sexually abused in state prisons. See, see, you never really know the anger that can build up. The feeling of not being in control. The feeling of feeling less than. Holding a dark secret and not being able to tell anybody. It's one my life. U.S. federal law and nearly all states, including New York, criminalize any sexual relations between staff and inmates. In a statement to ABC News, the New York Department of Corrections and Community Supervision refused to comment on possible or pending litigation, but said in part, DOCS has zero tolerance for sexual abuse, sexual harassment, and unauthorized relationships. The department thoroughly investigates all reports of sexual victimization, including unauthorized relationships and retaliation against individuals who report incidents or cooperate with those investigations. Wheeler is asking for $20 million in damages for the pain and suffering, injuries and expenses she sustained as a result of the alleged abuses. New York State requires a monetary claim for all damages. But beyond financial compensation, Wheeler says that sharing her story has been part of her path to healing. I could not continue to be an incomplete woman, a broken person, a hurt soul because her people hurt people. At least 3,700 lawsuits were filed in the year the New York Adult Survivors Act was active. There are calls for the law to be extended or made permanent, but that requires new legislation from the state chamber. Hopefully, this law has taught society a lesson. Anytime we can give 
victims of voice, it is a good thing for society. But we feel that there are thousands that were left behind. Okay, so that just gives us a snapshot of what's been happening, y'all. So just the background, general background of what has happened thus far, how this whole got the whole thing got started in all of uh, the different areas and industries that we've been finding have been, you know, hiding these predators. And if you notice, all the predators are, have been male. We have yet to see a single female predator, y'all. Not a single female predator as of today. That Not that I've seen anyway. If you've seen any, let me know. Leave it in the comments below, right? I haven't seen none. All of the predators that I've seen have been males, assusing, harassing, and ruining the lives of other women, okay? So on top of everything else, now we have more that has come up on Didi, uh, especially when it comes to the charter schools. He was so proud of these charter schools. I'm a little concerned because I get to feeling like now we there's no telling the reason why he put together a charter school because he is a predator and a charter school can and could make it easier for him to find prey, young prey at that. So now I'm looking at him side-eyed, like super sideways, like what have you been doing this whole time with this charter school situation? But I don't know, let's see what, you know, because let's see what's going on here. They're trying to cut ties with him too and trying to stay far, far away from this situation and from him. And I'm assuming it's especially because of this, because now I'm looking sideways like, I bet, I don't know, I wouldn't be surprised if the charter school knew everything about him being a predator, everything about Didi being a predator and still did nothing. And further putting uh, anyone that attends that charter school in danger and putting them on a silver platter uh, so that uh, Puff, Diddy, whatever his name is, can have a field trip on a silver platter. I don't know. I'm not saying that happened. There's nothing out there saying that that was taking place at all, but I'm looking sideways because I would not hesitate in believing that if something like that were to come out. So let's take a look, y'all. Let me pull this up for y'all and let's let's see um, what's going on with this whole uh, charter chatter, uh, school situation, okay? Y'all, excuse my accent. I'm not from the US, so I know we know y'all, some of y'all, <laughs> I know some words, you're just gonna have to bear with me, okay? So anyway. Well, now today it's been announced that Diddy's partnership with the Charter Preparatory School has ended amid the sexual assault allegations. So when it rains, it pours. And I don't feel bad for him at all. So this is what's being said. Following a comprehensive evaluation, a decision has been made to end the partnership between Capital Preparatory Schools and Sean Combs. While the decision was not made lightly, we firmly believe it is the best interest of our organization, health and future. Dr. Steve Perry, founder and the head of schools, Capital Preparatory Schools. So, you know, they are backing off, backing off, off of DD because, you know, that's definitely the smartest move for them, uh, period. How irresponsible does it make them look? So now they're going to claim that they didn't know anything about what was going on, really? That's going to be really, really hard for us to believe. It really, really hard for us to believe. You sure you didn't know what was going on? Or you knew what was going on, but you didn't want that cash flow to stop flowing, so you just didn't say nothing. And now that the public is involved, all of a sudden, you want to wash your hands clean, you don't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> I mean, it's a smart move. You, you, you know, get out. Y'all you, you better get out while you can. The Sen says, look, I'll buy that from you, Playboy, for the low. Because you know Cadillac and AT&T going to pull out. I'll give you a few dollars for it now. Sell it to me. Then we can be friends. I'm serious. Call my phone. Y'all know 50 Cent has no chance. Y'all, 50 Cent is so messy. <laughs> He has been having such a great time with this whole thing. Unapologetic, too. He could care less. Like, he's totally been super unapologetic about having a great time with the fall and demise of Diddy. And it's just, y'all know, y'all know 50. He, he's, he, he. He stays uh, super messy, y'all. Let's see what Jay had to say. Also, there's that whole situation with, with that. There was that whole situation with Jay. I mean, the thing is, these rumors about Didi have been going around for such a long time, and no one even blinked. Y'all, no one even, no one even blinked. That's that's the thing. So, I don't know. I don't know. But let's take a look, so you can see what I'm talking about here. quite recently added to the tales with claims that while visiting Diddy at his home months prior, the rapper bent him over on his monster outside bed. 
guaranteeing that Jay's vague remarks affirms Diddy's secret gay exercises. Jay Versace is an American social media personality who is known for his comedic content and as being the funniest teenager on the internet. When he was at the peak of his fame, Diddy invited him over to his Los Angeles mansion for a party. A gathering of some female TikTokers posted a throwback pic showing them playing on Diddy's outdoor bed. That's when Jay crept into the comments and made a few touchy charges towards Diddy, revealing Diddy had him bent over on the bed. Jay did not explain the circumstances around him being folded over with Diddy. So y'all, isn't that so, isn't that so freaking crazy? It's, I mean, it's been happening for years and years and years. And for some reason, we're just now entering the chat. Just looking at my beautiful son. Boy, you's a, you's a beautiful <laughs> black king. That's disgusting. You see how he sounds? Like, you look how, like, y'all hear how he's breathing? And, so, oh, I hope he didn't do anything to his kids, y'all. I wouldn't put it past this animal to have done something predatory to those kids. I, I wouldn't put it past him and I'm just hoping and praying that he didn't because the way he sounds in this video, so creepy, so disgusting. Jesus, they have, they literally have no non-existent morals, non-existent like anything. They literally belong in the jungle. Anything and everything that walks, that's where we act. Anything and everything that walks, even if they know you, even if they might be related to you, da 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 da. Oh no, y'all! I really, really hope that wasn't the case, and I don't see how this kid wasn't so uncomfortable. Like I would have been so freaking creeped out, yo! Like it would have been so creepy the way he was sounding. Jesus, you just Thank you, God. <laughs> woo, <laughs> man, Thank you. man, man. I appreciate it. Man, I'm blessed. Love you. Thank you. I mean, what you doing, man? You're getting what, what's going on, man? I'm growing up, Pop. You're growing, growing up. up. Growing Absolutely up. disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And the um revolt also turned on him, like we were talking about earlier. Um, let me see if if I can show you all this because. Let's move on. Diddy temporarily steps down as chairman at Revolt in wake of loss. Oh, shit. Mm. Oh, man. That's crazy. It unstarted, man. All right, Damn. Uh, Sean Combs, Combs is surviving Diddy begins. Yeah. yeah. Sean Combs has stepped down from his position as chairman at Revolt, while Mr. Combs has previously had no operational or day-to-day -day role in the business. His decision helps to ensure that Revolt remains stead steadfast. What's that? Fastly? steadfastly focus on our mission to create meaningful content for the culture and amplify the voices of all of the black people throughout this country and the African <laughs> diaspora. Is that his official statement? <laughs> this is Revolt oh, wow. talking, right? Okay. Yeah. Our focus has always been that reflects our commitment to the collective journey of Revolt, one that is not driven by any individual but by the shared efforts and values of our entire team on behalf of advancing, elevating, and championing our culture, and that continues. Oh. So they're saying they about to move the fuck on even yeah, without him. Nah, no bullshit. Is, so has he come out and said it. anything? He, no. He still ain't said nothing. He man. hasn't said a motherfucking word. That nigga about to move to Cuba, man. He <laughs> <ain't> <laughs> what what the? Million, he shut that shit didn't even dent that nigga pockets. Yeah, man, ain't nothing not to move all. over. He don't give a fuck. Well, I'm sure he don't, but nigga, that's not a real, that's not a good look. Though. But he had to. Revolt had to. Mm -hmm. had Revolt to. had no choice, yeah, and I'm sure no Diddy, as a businessman, understood and respected it. Yeah. Yeah. Who's like the rush card nigga? Like Russell? You know, Russell Simmons. Bro, bro, listen, dog. Like and he, again, like he had like two lawsuits, and he said, hey. I already see like where like, where like this shit happening. Yeah. I'm about to go like to some island like where like you can't extradite me, and fact. he's been there and ever since. Call That's it. A fact. You feel me? So if I'm Diddy, bro, hey, listen, man, like y'all like y'all sue me, sue me for some shit from like 30 years ago, a date from 30 years ago, bro. Let me just up and leave this bitch, bro. Feel me right? right like I I'm. Good. See, this is the way these animals think. Let me just leave if you're gonna if you're gonna sue me for something that happened 30 years ago. Never mind that you literally essayed 
several, several women. So you essayed a woman 30 years ago, but we should let you get away with it because it was 30 years ago? Like, are you dumb? This is how they think, y'all. This is why I keep saying, stay away from them. If that were me, I'd be, I'd be done. I'd be, I'd be going out of there. Yeah. Yeah, I believe you. Predators. Animalistic behavior. That's what these males are. Diddy, Puff, whatever his name is, is literally a speck. He's just one out of the rest of the 98% of all males that are the exact same way. It's insane. Well, y'all, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this whole situation. It is crazy. And don't forget, again, to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It helps the channel so much. Thank you so much. Go ahead and smash that like button and the subscribe button. And um, I'm looking forward to hearing your comments below. All right. See you guys in the next one. Bye.